Hi, this is Jim from CableSupply.com, and uh, today we're going to be talking about the Jameson fiberglass fish tape. Uh, this fish tape should be the uh, basic load in your truck if you're a contractor and you're doing low voltage or 110 voltage. It's a heavy duty fish tape, it's 200 foot long, it's made by Jameson. Uh, one of the nice things about this is, is this reel has a break on it, so when you start pulling out the fish tape, it has a break and you can slow it down. So if you pull it really fast, it's not going to swing this thing around and you end up with more fish tape in the room than you can deal with. Uh, 200 foot is a nice size. Um, you don't often run into 200 foot. Usually it's 35, 50 foot, but it's nice to have the extra footage. Nice thing about it too is that you can use it in this way, this direction, or you can lay it down on its side. It's made to do both. So you can lay it on its side and you can pull the, the uh, fiberglass uh, tape out and it will do exactly the same thing. Sometimes you're in a position where on its side is better. It's easy, rolls back in, has a nice container. It's a heavy duty plastic, it's one of the tough plastics. So why do you use fiberglass fish tape? Well, as most people in the construction industry and also in the contracting industry, uh, you know that there's metal fish tapes. Very inexpensive, but it's also a, um, a very difficult tool to use. Because it's flat, it's spring steel metal, it will not bend in a 360 degree manner. This will. So when you pull out the fish tape, you push it through a conduit, it doesn't matter which way the conduit is bent, it will naturally follow the conduit. A nice thing about this fiberglass fish tape is it also comes with some other parts in the back. This is not only a repair place to keep your repair parts, but it's also a place where you can use different leaders. You have two different types of leaders. Now leaders are designed to get you through the curves in a conduit. So if the conduit curves up, the leader will naturally follow that curve. This has a little nylon tip that makes it really easy. It's not gonna catch on anything, but not only is it not gonna catch, it's gonna lead the end of the fish tape right through the conduit. So what you do is, this is a bull nose at the end, so what you're going to do is take off the bull nose, it unscrews, and you screw on the, the leader, one of the two leaders, this is a bull nose leader, has a little spring there, just like this one does, and as you push it through the conduit, it's going to follow the bends through the conduit and it's going to lead the fish tape with you. Okay, I want to demonstrate the difference between uh, the fiberglass fish tape uh, right here uh, and the metal fish tape that's commonly used uh, in the industry. Um, this is a very inexpensive fish tape. It's not that great if you're a professional, I'll be honest with you. Uh, and the reason why, as you can see, um, it's kind of a stiff metal. Um, it, it doesn't bend very well. But if you notice this, let me show you the difference between the two. I get it close here. Uh, this is spring steel. And that spring steel, you can see the thickness there. Uh, let me get the fish tape, the other fish tape out of there. You can see the difference uh, there on the spring steel. You can, you can see that it's thin on one side, it's thick on the other. Now, this bends this way. You can see it. Let me try different angles here. It bends this way absolutely fine, but it will not bend sideways. It's, it's, it, it just won't bend. If it bends sideways, you're going to have a permanent bend in here and it will not straighten out. You can't push it through. So what will happen is you'll spend a lot of time uh, fooling around with this fish tape when you get into those situations uh, where you need superior fish tape. Um, you'll be fooling around with this, trying to fish through conduits, and you'll hit one or two elbows, and then you can't get that third one because it's on a different angle. So this will keep its orientation. It will be flat. It will keep its orientation. It will go, you know, all the way through uh, the first bend. And in fact, it gets kind of difficult at the first bend. Once it hits the second bend, it's a little bit harder. But when it hits that third bend or that second bend, it bends... 90 degrees to the right rather than 90 degrees up or down, then it won't bend. It, it becomes very stiff and hard to get through. And um, you'll spend some time struggling trying to get this through a conduit. 
Now the difference is, here is the, here is the fiberglass fish tape. And this fiberglass fish tape, let me get this completely out of your view there, the fiberglass fish tape will bend in any direction. A lot more flexible, um, you know, has that bullet nose, it has other uh, accessories that, that lead it into a turn, and, and it's just more flexible. Um, in any direction, 360 degrees, it will bend where the other one either goes up or down. It does not go sideways. So uh, that's, uh, that's the difference between the two, and that's why fiberglass is far superior. And if you're a professional, you should have this. It's going to pay for itself. Even though this is a fantastic, heavy-duty, commercial-grade uh, fiberglass fish tape, there's going to be a situation where you're pulling really hard and it's going to break. Okay, that happens, especially with fiberglass. It, it is going to break. It will save you time in, in fishing uh, through uh, conduit, but at the same time, there will be a time when this fish tape will break. The nice thing about it is it has a little compartment here, and in that compartment is repair parts. So if you break the tape, let's say you break the tape at 50 foot. Okay, so now you got two fish tapes. You got one that's 150 foot, another it's 50 foot. That's fine if that's what you want. I personally like to keep 200 foot fish tape 200 feet. So what you do is you take, you go where the break is and in here they have these nice little parts. One of the parts they have is a splicer. You can splice this thing back together. This is ingenious. Comes with a little bit of sandpaper so you can rough up where the break is, make sure you clean it up. You got glue, you glue both ends, put it together, you wait a few minutes, it's ready to go. You still have a 200 foot fish tape. Now, if you break this tape, and you want to, let's say you break it at 100 foot, and you say, well, I only need 100 foot. So I'm going to keep 100 in here and keep 100, give it to someone else, another worker or something like that. Well, you got new ends. So you can have two fish tapes, each 100 foot long. Again, this is Jim with CableSupply.com. Thank you for watching our product demo of the Jameson Little Buddy 200 foot fiberglass fish tape. And please visit our website at CableSupply.com. Com. Hi, this is Jim from CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com, and today I'm going to show you how to cut a hole in the drywall. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to this YouTube installment of CableSupply.com.